yeah, yeah. Oh, my baby, you know money, no day. Baby, I be okay. I will not play. I go work hard. I know my body. Take a look at me now. Everything gonna change soon. Make you be with me now. Am I hold on and you're gone too soon? Baby, I be find you, baby. So this is coming from page 17 of Kayla and Kyle, The Walking Dictionary it's by Nicholas Boama. And I read, Kayla is immediately greeted by her best friend, Ramona, The Walking Encyclopedia. Ramona is always so sanguine about every situation and this one is no different. She encourages Kayla by informing her of the many great women leaders in history. Before she can list them all, the school bell rings and they hurry off to class. Now, did I say the word right? Sanguine. Sanguine. Tell us, what's the meaning of sanguine? Sanguine means you're always looking on the bright side. Staying positive. That's interesting. What made you feature the word in your book? We did um, need somebody to like, greet um, Kayla. Right, right, right. That's interesting. Somebody who was always so sanguine. Tell us, since you were talking about sanguine, always looking on the bright side, what do you want to be when you grow up? A mechanical engineer. A mechanical engineer. That's interesting. Why a mechanical engineer? Because I want to invent things. You want to invent things? Nice. I have a friend who's a mechanical engineer. His name is Dr. Thomas Ousu Mensa. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mention you to him. He would love to meet you mm -hmm. when you go to Ghana next time. Or he's coming to the U.S. in September and he's going to be at the same venue where you're going to be honored by the Guba Awards. So there's the likelihood to get to meet up. Nice. So you're here at the Embassy of Ghana in Washington, D.C. You're going to be meeting the Ambassador, His Excellency, Dr. Bafo E.J. Bewa. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel great. Great, great. Why does it make you feel great? Because uh, Ghana really enjoys me. Nice. We also really enjoy you because you're from Ghana, but we are excited about the fact that you are one of the young Africans who are coming up and are really projecting their identity, not just as Ghanaians, but Africans, and in your case, African Americans. And I like your kente. So Nicholas, I hear you also have a non-profit called Books Without Borders. Tell us a little bit about that one too. Um, well. Books Without Borders is where me and some other kid doctors donate some books to take to Ghana to get to their schools and libraries there. And I'm also giving some to my friends. So why are you giving books out to kids in Ghana and around the world? Because I feel like people should really expand their, on their vocabularies. Expand on their vocabularies. And you want to be um, a chemical engineer when you grow well, up. And you really are going to need to expand on your vocabulary. So what, what, what a better time to start when you're yeah. at a young age like you are right now. I'm sure you've been getting a lot of attention both from the media and from friends and probably even family. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel special. Makes you feel special. Good. I like the fact that you didn't say it makes you feel important, but it makes you feel special. It's, it's a very humbling way to, you know, see it. And I, I can sense the humility in you, even from the tone of your voice when you speak very softly and very humbly. Um, Tell us a little bit about your parents. Um, well, they are really excited about this and I couldn't do it without them. Nice. Mom and Dad, Nicholas couldn't do it without you, so thanks for the support you continually give him. Talk about his parents. We are privileged to have his mom right here with us today. Mom, welcome to the African Dream. Thank you, Ethan. Ah, yes. uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. For those of you who are wondering what she just greeted me with, she said Ethan, which is the Ghanaian language of Chi, 
to mean how are you doing and I responded a year or boko which means we're fine we're all good so you just learned some chi language right there <laughs> <laughs> so how are you taking all this excitement with Nicholas especially at a young age um, you know, it's a lot. Um, it's a lot because um, he's being pulled on from, it's, it's, it's a lot but it's exciting at the same yeah, time right. because um, everyone here in the United States is very excited for what he's doing and then Ghana, we didn't realize the impact that he was having on Ghana. Um, he's been receiving a lot of messages, video phone calls and all from kids and schools in Ghana wanting to just speak with him and he's, yeah, it's just been great. It's been very exciting. Very you, exciting. you mentioned Ghana. Mm -hmm. Tell us about his Ghana connection. Oh, well, Nicholas is American and Ghanaian, so right. I'm American. His father is from Ghana, and um, we visit Ghana a lot. Nicholas loves going to Ghana. Actually, his best friend lives in Ghana, nice. and he hasn't seen him. We haven't been there in two years, mm. so he's very excited to get back to Ghana to nice. see Junior. Nice. So, yes. Mm -hmm. So, when are you guys going back to Ghana? We're going, um, well, like everyone knows that um, Mr. Steve Harvey just donated the 555 books to Ghana. So we're actually working on that right now. So hopefully within the next few months we'll mm, be there. Mm, so mm, mm -hmm. That's exciting. Yes, yeah, very exciting. Yes. Now, um, tell us, when you look at Nicholas, all the attention he's getting right now, I know it makes you feel very proud, a proud mom, <laughs> but then again, the world is asking you to share him with everybody. How does that make you feel? You know, it's funny that you asked that question um, because I, when he was younger, I was very limited on even sharing pictures on social media. So with this, I, um, I have friends that I speak with and, you know, and I talk like, okay, when I put this out, his face and every, you know, so it's, it was hard, but the positive attention that he's getting from it, and I feel like he's kind of setting himself up to be whatever he wants to be in life. Mm. So I'm, I'm loving that part of it. So, right. yes. So mom, even the president? <laughs> You want to be the president, Nicholas? <laughs> the president of Ghana? You want to be the president of Ghana? You, you, you could be that. You could be the president of Ghana or the president of the United you States. Can, <laughs> you can be whatever you want to be, honey. Again, so um, so basically, everyone, like I said, is they're pulling for Nicholas. They want him to do appearances because he does travel around to different schools, reading to the kids and encouraging them. They write him letters saying that he inspires them. Um, you know, but... With Nicholas, some things I have to say no to because I want him to still be a child. He's eight years old. He still loves to play basketball, play soccer. He has friends to play with. So I want him to maintain that child. I don't want him to grow up too fast. You know, so um, so I am limited on what he is allowed to do right now when it comes to promoting his book. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. And it's, it's interesting the way you say it. You still want him to enjoy his childhood. Most definitely. Which is a major part of the developmental stages and yes. everyone life so yes, yes don't be in a hurry to grow up <laughs> but be in a hurry to be successful <laughs> yes. yes yeah yes yeah. Mm -hmm. so Nicholas is there anything you'd like to say to all the young kids who are watching you right now I'd like to say to you guys that you guys can do anything if you put your mind to it and no matter of how old you are you can be three or four and still write a book or something like that. Just because you see, I'm eight years old and you guys can be younger and write books too. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. I like awesome. That. Do you guys have a website where people could oh, reach yeah. out and connect? Yes, sir. Um, my website is motherhubbard.us. Mm -hmm. Motherhubbard.us. And all of his social media handles is at Nicholas Buwama. And Buwama is spelled B-U-A-M-A-H. Well, you just heard mom spell his social media handle. And you can see his website address also right there rolling on the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much for joining us here today, Nicholas. Oh. We appreciate you. And guys, he has a very firm handshake. <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, for taking time to be here with us. <laughs> really appreciate yes. it. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
calls to the to the team okay. uh, within the next two days okay. uh, to see where the interest lies and sure. if they are interested we'll begin discussions on having the uh, donation ceremony downstairs.